no matter what the world might say about it, it's honorable in the sight of God when you walk around abstaining from the things of this world. Amen. Amen. The lying and the stealing and the cheating and the smoking and the drinking and the chasing of women and laying down for men and doing all of these sorts of things. The sanctification you need to be cleaned up of these things. Yes. Amen. How are we doing, church? Amen. Amen. That every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor. Do you not know that God is the individual that owns you? That's it. Hold what you got. First Corinthians. Sixth chapter. Amen. 13 verse. 613. Listen to this. Meat for the belly. Say what? Meat for the belly. Meat is for the belly. And what? And belly for meat. And the belly is for meat. Read. But God shall destroy both it and them. God gonna destroy the meat and the belly. Yeah. Amen. Read Amen. on. Now the body is not for fornication. Say what? Amen. Now the body is not for fornication. The body is not for sex outside of marriage. Amen. Amen. How we doing, church? Amen. Amen. Is it in the book? It's in there. Now the body is not for fornication, but the body is for who? For the Lord. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Who made you? Who created you? Yes. Who formed you? Who has breathed into your nostrils the breath of life that you walk around with every day? Amen. So you belong to him. That's Amen. It. Amen. Read it again, brother. Meat for the belly. Meat for the belly. And belly, and the belly for, the for meat. meat. But God shall destroy both it and them. Period. Now. The body is not for fornication. Is not for fornication, but for who? For the Lord. For the Lord and the Lord for the body. Read. And God hath both raised up the Lord. And God hath both raised up the Lord and would also raise us up by his own power. See, you need to be raised up from the sins of the world. Yes. And the only way you're going to do that, you got to be sanctified. And to be sanctified meaning be made clean. Amen. you got to stop doing wrong yes. and stop doing what's right. Amen. Amen. Listen, read. Know you not. Know you not what? That your bodies are the members of Christ. Amen. Your bodies are the members of Christ. Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? What? God forbid. God forbid it. God done made you. He done created you. He's breathing in your nostril the breath of life. You live by him. In him we live, move, and have our being. Let me get that for you. Book of Acts. <clears throat> I think we're on the 17th chapter of Acts there somewhere, isn't it? Seventeen twenty-eight. In case you don't know, I'm informing you. You belong to God. Watch this. Yes. Read. Twenty-eight verse says what? For in him we For live. For in him we what? Live. So if you are alive right now, it's yes. because of God. Amen. It's not the devil that's keeping you alive because he wants to take you out every day. He yes. wants to destroy you every day. He wants to take everything good that you have away from you yes, every he day. He wants to destroy you. And he's diligent too. So in him we live. In God we live. Read. And move. And what? And move. 
In him we first of all live, then in him we move. Your muscles are activated by the power of God. Yeah. Amen. And then you're going to take God's strength and fornicate, drink liquor, smoke on, suck on them nasty, dirty cigarettes. What God has given you, the breath in your nostrils, and you're going to utilize it for the benefit of Satan? How do you think God feels? All right. Read. For in him we live. For in him we live, we move, and what? And have our being. Isn't that something? You even have your being because of him. Read. As certain also of your own poets have said. Read. For we are also his offspring. We're his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone, graven by art and man's devices. And the 30th verse says, and at times what? Of this ignorance, God winked at. One particular time, God winked at this. Yes. But now what? But now commanded all men to do what? Everywhere to repent. See, before Christ came, he winked at it. Now that Christ had come, yeah. he's telling you to repent. Amen. Everywhere. 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 Yeah. Everywhere to repent. Stop yes, your foolishness. Yeah. Amend your ways and your doings before God. See, because he's the only one that sees you wherever you may be. That's it. Amen. You can't hide from God. Amen. 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 Read again, brother. For in him we live and we move. We live. We move. And we have work. our being. Have our being. Read. As certain also of your own poets have said. We are what? For we are also his offspring. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we are the offspring of God. We ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold or silver or stone or graven by art and man's device. device. Man, it had nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. That's right. He didn't create you. God did. <clears throat> and you know what? God made you exactly the way he wanted you to be. Yeah, that's it. People got to go out here and want to get a facelift. Why? <laughs> that's not the way God made you. Yeah, all right. Amen. Women want to get breast implants. They just don't like the way they look. That's the way God made you. Yeah. Amen. You telling me that God don't know what he's doing? I mean, he did everything else right. Yeah. Amen. He did everything else right. That's right. I just don't like the way my nose look where God made it. He put your nose where he wanted it to be. Yeah, it's beautiful. People go around here putting the holes all in the nose and stuff. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You won't born with no hole. <laughs> How we doing, church? All right. Amend your ways and your doings. True, true, true. Amen. In the times of this ignorance, ignorance, God mm -hmm. winked at, but now commandeth all men everywhere to do what? To repent. That means stop it, turn around, and get it straight. Yes. Huh? Because what? Because he hath appointed a day. Because he has appointed a day when what? In the which he will judge the world in righteousness. See, he's going to judge you according to Christ. Isn't that wonderful? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? He's going to judge you according to Christ. 
Yeah. He's not going to judge you according